Um, so, I don't know my interests recently. Uh, Chinese people. I'm gonna study every face of a Chinese person and, um, hello, Chinese person. Hello, different Chinese person. Hello, get another, no, that's the, the, the first Chinese person. And so that's, um, gonna be my Nobel laureate. I also want to get a, um, sort of, like, collegiate course or the Grand Grammy in, uh, stopping ceiling fans if they fall down on me, and, like, I'm gonna do a sort of, like, leg twirl, and it's gonna be like, you thought you could cut me up because I put swords on you because I thought that would be cool but now it's gonna kill me but here's the thing is that my feet can juggle you so I'm never gonna die because I'm not gonna be killed by a ceiling fan so nothing can kill me practically I don't think anything can kill me if a ceiling fan can't kill me and uh so a Chinese person would say a, a searing fan because not just the consonants but also the vowels are different. Like if you're a Hmong person, I was watching a uh, Gran Torino and uh, there's a brother and a sister, Tao and Sue, and I was thinking. Maybe it's like a monophone or homophone or homo something. Things that people speaking the language would consider the same. Or homogram, phonogram. But like Sue, it's sort of like you know, you just kind of like drop it out, like a sue, like a poo, versus poo. You have a poo, or the sue, and that's the English version, versus su, poo, which are like, they have like a tone to them. One of them is sort of a digraph. Oh, God, fucking Christ. Fans. I don't, do I have any fans? I don't know. I want, uh, exactly 233,561 fans. And that's how much I want, so... That's going to be a lot of death. That's going to be very unlucky. They say that you should never turn on a fan. And that's a uh, superstition in Africa. That's why they die from heat stroke. Because they're like, yo, I can't get sunburned. They speak in AAVE in Africa. They're like, yo, I can't get sunburned. I can't get sunburned, dead ass. So why should I be doing some fan that could very well like kill me? You know, like I don't wave a knife to cool myself down. That's some stupid shit. Why would I be like using a butterfly knife and shit to like cool myself down? So a fan, that's basically the same thing. It's not actually the fans are totally different. I've talked to the fan people and they've said that fans are very safe. I don't trust them, but you know, like, I'm a moderate. I, I kind of take the middle ground because, you know, like, people in Africa talk about, like, oh, we've saved a lot of lives from fans, but 
how many lives have you lost to heat stroke? And they're like, no, we'll use air conditioning. And I'm like, air conditioning is like 100 billion times more fatal. Air conditioning causes your daughter to be sucking strange dick in an alleyway at like a 6 FM. You don't even know what hour that is. That's 6 FM. Is that bright? Is it dark? You know, it's a bad state of mind if you're in air conditioning. And the thing about air conditioning is that it only affects you when you go outside, right? So, like, when you're inside, which people are most of the time, this is what led to hippies, because they were like, hey, let's go outside. And that's the thing with quarantine, is that people are like, hey, let's go outside. But, you know, if you went outside for more than a period of, like, two hours at a time, you think there's, like, climbers out there and shit, but there's not. You know, who gets killed? Climbers. So, you either get killed, or you start sucking dick. That's how it works. That's because of air conditioning. It's the decline of Western civilization is Asian civilization, <laughs> or air conditioning, uh, or air conditioning, dick sucking, ACDC, dick sucking, that's what it stands for, or like, it's like sucking, but it starts with a C, and it's like, sucking, it's like a Chinese word, it's like, su. Or like a French word, like sucking, or like maybe it's like German and French, maybe. And it's like sucking. It's like me su, my su. Like that one dialogue in a uh, fucking uh, serious man where it's like me sir, my sir. Man, I love that dialogue. Me, me sir, my sir. Because it's either Larry is just racist, or like, he's, he's delusional, or like, you know, that guy is really speaking that weird language, or maybe he's just trying to fuck with him. Me, sir, my, sir. It's kind of meta in a way, because he's criticizing him, and then he's like, let me just say some Chinese shit to you. <sighs> fucking pwned. That's what, that's what they should be doing in, uh, the SJW things, is they should just, you don't speak English. If you're speaking English, you're a colonizer, and you lost already. Speak Spanish, but, but if you're in Mexico, you can't speak Spanish. You have to speak, like, a native language, or, like, even English, that could work too, you know, like, get the upper hand on them, like, hey, fucking speak Spanish, dude, and you're like, no, I'm gonna speak English, <laughs> fucking bitch, oh yeah, I'm gonna have my English meatloaf, and, uh, a fucking fish and chips, and some fucking goat bladder, mmm, I fucking love goat bladder, I love beans and toast, I love these classic English things and the things that the English sort of transported over, like being fucked in boarding school. You know, you don't have to be Catholic to be a pedophile. Well, I wonder, like, how they do pedophilia elsewhere. Because there's that one, like, Tobey Maguire movie with, like, I don't know, Samuel L. Jackson or some shit in Maine, and, like, they pick apples. But, like, this is still recording. I gotta check that later to see if it's gonna still be. So, like, uh, it's during World War One or World War Two, I forget. And at first, Tobey Maguire is, like, an orphan and shit. But then he's like, yo, I'm about to, like, level up, level up. 
Level up, level up, level up. Oh, you use Yami and that Ciara song. And so, sh shit, he becomes like a doctor because the people at the orphanage are like, yo, you gotta become a doctor. But then he's just like, yo, I wanna work on like a farm and shit. So he works on a farm with some like hella black people and it's like dead ass. <laughs> Uh, but it turns out that black people can incest too because like Samuel L. Jackson was fucking like fucking his daughter. So you know. And meanwhile, Toby Maguire, you know, to show that he's the true protagonist, is doing infidelity with uh, not his own daughter, but with uh, I don't know, Ju Julian Moore, not her, but like. I think that woman who's in that movie about, like, uh, the, the British children who are actually dead and, like, the, like, whoever that is, uh, very popular actress, um, I don't know any names, I never remember names, it's gay, so, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'd imagine, really, it's possible to an extent that just, like, white people, they got to a point where there were enough of them, or at least they were spread out enough, where incest was like, what the fuck? But maybe it's, like, incest everywhere else is, like, capiche, you know, like... What else are we gonna do? Now oh, come on. Because if you think about the semiotics of that, the meaning making of that word incest in a like socio political landscape, like think of Sicily, because in Sicily they're all black and that's racism, right? Because they're all black, because they were fucked by the uh the um uh Carthaginians or something. Berbers something which is uh why you should never trust a Sicilian okay I think this is this is some bottom of the barrel stuff now I mean like don't hammer down the point of incest what a fucking boring topic just like don't have sex with your brother don't have sex with your sister is it gonna work out anyway is that, like, what relationship advice do you take where it's like, okay, yeah, I guess, you know, it's just not practical. It's like, in the first case, at least from a plot standpoint, to have an ancestral relationship, you either have to be raped or you have to be, like, a weirdo, and it has to be, like, this really head-over-heels thing. And the head-over-heels stuff is kind of fucking retarded. Um... Is that an opinion of mine? Do I think that? Am I a cynical person? We'll find out next time on the McLaughlin Report. This is the bottom of the barrel bottom referential humor to referential humor to referential humor this is the ASMR podcast for gay faggots come here if you want to be a beep holder um yes you uh, I, I was thinking of being a beep holder because I don't know what else to do. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. <sighs> uh, the dream is over.